All right, the weather has been picture perfect the last several days. Today was gorgeous, sunny skies through lunchtime and then partly cloudy skies. Temperatures were warm in the mid 80s, but not bad at all. And I know we'd all like to see some more and it's not going to be bad tomorrow or Saturday either. 77 degrees out there right now. 86 our high today. 63 was our low this morning. Temperatures all across the area are in the 70s tonight with a few Spots in rural areas a little cooler. Liberty 69, Burlington 68, 69 degrees in Yanceyville. Back to the west, we've got readings near 70 in Pilot Mountain and the Wilkesboro's. Up in the mountains, we got 60s being reported. Satellite radar is quiet for us tonight. Around the state, it's that way too. There are some showers way north of us up in Ohio and parts of Indiana, all being driven by that cold front that is approaching. It's moving more slowly now, though, so our forecast for Saturday has improved a little bit. We had a 40% chance for Saturday to see showers. Now it's a 30% chance, but the 40% is pushed back to Sunday when the front's coming through. Then behind that front, we've got really good weather coming in again next week. Now also on the weather map, you can see the swirl. That is hurricane um, that's out there moving up to the north, and that storm is moving to Bermuda still at this point. Let's take a look now at what's happening with the satellite radar for tomorrow. Very limited activity. We may see a stray shower, but for the most part, we're in good shape. And tomorrow night will not be as cool. We're only going back closer to 70 and humidity is coming up. That's why that happens. And you're going to feel that when you're out and about on Saturday. Speaking of, look at the muggy meter and you can see where we have been. We've been in the very comfortable range and moderate here today, but we are easing up through humid into oppressive later tomorrow into Saturday and Sunday. But then we come crashing back down by Tuesday and that's behind that cold front and it could actually be even better than what we have just had. Here's our tropical satellite view and you can see the hurricane Ernesto out there just churning moving out over open water right now. Bermuda is right there and it's going to end up in that particular location right now. Winds have come up It's now 100 miles per hour and wind gusts 120. So this has become a stronger storm category two hurricane and the forecast track by the National Hurricane Center is still showing a category two on Saturday morning early when it's over Bermuda. But given that the power has already gotten this high, the next update that comes in here in the next few minutes might see it get boosted up to a cat three. We'll see. We'll have that information by the 11 o'clock news tonight when that comes in and then it continues north. And if it keeps on going on this track, it'll be moving over into Europe. Now, as far as the winds and waves go, there'll be some waves on our beach, but it won't be huge, but there will be a rip current threat that starts tomorrow and goes through the weekend. But if you're out at the beach, be safe in the water. Otherwise, it's going to be beautiful. 86 degrees next two days with sunshine. Mountains have a few showers in the forecast, 75 to 80. In the Piedmont tonight, 67 degrees. Tomorrow, look for a high of 86, partly cloudy. Chance for a shower late in the day, but it's a small chance at 25%. 88 on Saturday, 86 degrees Sunday, best chance of a shower and then dropping off in great weather early next week. Low 80s for highs, lows in the low 60s. 8 to 12 days out, we're still in the mid 80s with the chance of showers going from 20 to 35 percent, taking you through August 27th. 3 degree guarantee tonight's low 67. My guarantee for today was for a cool 64 and it was 63. Our streak now is at 72 days.